guys, so this is going to be my very first tutorial of myself. Um, I've been kind of hesitant about it for a couple reasons. One, I'm not a big fan of tutorials all about yourself. Um, I think there's a difference between makeup artist and makeup enthusiast, but you know, I figured why not throw myself on this too to show my skin and my texture and how I transform myself. Um, Little disclaimer, my face is actually not broken out, but I have a lot of scarring from my acne. I do have some acne still, but most of it's gone, thankfully. <laughs> um, so I was a little concerned about that because I didn't want to be so up close, especially with this new Canon that I got. It shows everything. Everything. Anyways, so I went ahead and did it anyways. Um, I'm hoping this turns out really well. Please leave hopefully positive comments. Try and stay away from the negative ones. I don't want to have, you know, you know, comment off with someone or anything like that. Sorry. <laughs> anyways, stay tuned. Let me know what you think. Alright, so I already primed my face with the Smashbox Primer, the Photo Finish Oil. I'm just going to go ahead and dab on some Studio Fix NC15. I know, I'm hella light. <laughs> and then I'm just going to use a 170 brush. Um, I'm not really trying to cover any of my scarring that much right now. I'm just trying to work into my skin really. So you don't see me dabbing nearly as much. I'm kind of just stroking it into the skin. I'm going to then go over it with some for Longwear concealer from MAC as well. It has a little bit more coverage to it and then I'll blend it out with the NC15 Studio Fix again. Most of my scarring is around my jawline and um, a little bit on my cheeks as well. So I just kind of focus the product a little bit more in those areas. I don't care to lather it on everywhere else that much. I just want to blend that out. Alright, and then with the NC15 for Longwear Concealer. Um, if you've ever gotten any of these concealers, you know that even if you get your actual shade, it's going to be like three times lighter. <laughs> so I was a little surprised. Um, I work for MAC and I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I just kind of popped it on. But I am going to go back with my foundation and just pat it on top of it a little bit so it blends in with the rest of my skin. Alright, and then just patting it right on top of that concealer, I'm just going to take my foundation with a 170 brush, so I'm not moving much product around. It covers it pretty well. Um, I didn't put a whole lot load on. I mean, I could have gone with a lot more, I could have color corrected, but I don't really care that some of my stuff shows through. At this point, I've had it for so long, it's just not that big of a deal to me anymore. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and apologize. I did contour a little bit and my camera went out and then when I got it back on it was kind of looking a little weird so I just cut it from it. But I'm taking my NC20 Studio Fix powder to give a little bit more coverage. It's really hot where I live so I kind of needed that oil controlling property. I'm just going to put that all over my face. Um, not that much because I don't need that much coverage. I just want to kind of smooth it out. And then I'm going to take mineral or medium deep, it's a mineral skin finish from MAC and I'm just going to warm up my face a little bit. Then with a more dense brush, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills powder contour and light and it's going to be that middle bottom shade and I'm just going to kind of pop it under my bronzer and right now I am putting on my blush it's called seen to be seen it was um, 
a limited edition one, so sorry about that. <laughs> and my highlight is Becca, the opal color. For my eyes, I'm going to prime them with Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. I mean, I do it in every single one of my videos, this won't be any different. <laughs> I was going for a little bit of a grungy eye, um, very simple, I didn't want it to be super smooth and defined at all. I'm using this light kind of dusty malt color from the Catwalk palette, it's an Onyx Slash with a color palette. And then I'm going to go in with my artist palette and I'm going to take Dusty Rose on the same 224 brush, I'm just going to kind of throw it on my lid loosely and just blend it a little bit into my crease. I didn't care for it to be perfect. If I did, I probably would have done a flat brush from the beginning, but it wasn't a big deal to me. And I'm just going to go kind of blend it all into my crease. Doing the same to my other eye, the same kind of dusty malt color, and then I'm going to go in with dusty rose on the eyelid and work it into my crease again. Taking Aubergine from the same um, artist palette, I'm just going to use the end of a flat brush and I'm going to kind of make a little bit of a smoked line with that. I need to be kind of grungy. Grungy means very like undefined, so it wasn't a big deal. I wasn't going to go in with a liner and make it super smoked out or anything like that. I'm just going back and forth with the end of that brush using kind of like an eyeliner brush. It's just a little bit easy to blend with us. And then I'm taking Smolder and I'm going to line the inside of my eyes, my waterline, top and bottom. So I did tightly in the top part as well. And I'm actually going to just smooth that underneath my eyes and smear it a little bit with that same brush I used for Aubergine. Right, and I'm taking Aubergine and I'm just going to run that along the lash line as well just to kind of smoke it out a little bit more. Told you I wanted that grunge. <laughs> Alright, I already went ahead and I put on my mascara. I'm just dabbing Plead Guilty. It's a soft serve shadow and I'm using my like fingers just to dab on it inner part of my eye to make it a little bit brighter. Alright, and I'm taking my Cocoa Lashes. These are Misha's. I didn't want it to be super defined, so the Misha's were really good for that. And I'm just putting that from my center part of my eye into the corner parts. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I just got this. I'm actually really liking it. 
I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about the end kind of being a little slant, but it's working out really well for me. I took soft brown. I have a lot of ombre going on in my hair, so I don't really like going as dark as my roots are. And I'm just lining underneath and then kind of filling in the outer corner first. And then drawing it more in and making it kind of like little hairs. <laughs> you can see me playing with it. I was worried that it was going to go back in because I was pressing so hard. <laughs> but they were pretty good. Alright, and I'm just going to take my NC15 Pro Longer Foundation, I mean concealer, and I'm just going to draw that underneath my eye just a little bit. I'm not a big fan of using concealer when I'm doing my eyebrows, um, unless they're kind of untamed and it's necessary. I try my hardest not to use concealer. I don't like that line underneath. It's only if I really need to clean it up. <laughs> For my lips, um, I'm starting with stripped down liner. I am overlining my lips. <laughs> um, my bottom lip is quite larger than my upper, so I'm trying to even them out a little bit. Um, trick to overlining your lips, always start from the outside and build up when you're doing like your upper lip. A lot of people start from the middle. I find that kind of closes off your um, lips a little bit. Now for the lipstick that you see, even though it's super bright, it's actually my NC15 Chromograph Pencil. I melted down pretty much all of my lipsticks, so <laughs> I didn't feel like using a palette, so I just used this because I wanted it to be really nude. I didn't realize how nude it was going to come out until the end, so if I look a little washed out, that may be why <laughs> I was trying some new stuff out during this. <laughs> Some worked, some definitely did not. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> and I'm just going to put gloss over it. It's an LA Girl one. I don't know the name. I'm sorry. It's kind of a pinkish one. It's a mint taste to it. And Fix Plus everything. Always Fix Plus everything. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, it didn't go completely as planned. A lot of things in between got a little messy and crazy. It was my first time trying to film a tutorial, so thank you for bearing with me. I'll try and edit it as perfect as I can. I'm hoping it's gonna turn out good. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them below in the comment section. Always remember to like and subscribe, as well as follow me on my Instagram. It's gonna be Danny with two eyes dot makeup. I'll put it down below as well, okay? Thank you. Bye. No, let's not do that. Oh, bloopers. There's going to be so many bloopers. Yeah, it's insane.